Welcome! E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on guys? It's OGC here. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to cover how to get the four main sets for your heroes. That includes your Clash of Fate set, uh, that includes your Craftable set, that includes your Drake set, and that includes your Dragon set. So I'll show you how to get all four. Um, that way it will help you through the Hero Spotlight series. Make sure you guys subscribe, that way you guys can uh, follow along with all of the videos and see all of the Hero Spotlights. So without further ado, let's jump on in. So the first set that we're going to cover is going to be the craftable set. Now the craftable set is a pretty, um, it's a pretty impactful set because what the craftable set does is it is the easiest way to get flawless items. Uh, flawless items give a lot more sets. So for example, this is for the gladiator uh, portion of, of the craftable set and it offers 7 command and 18 stamina at flawless. When we compare that to uh, a regular crafted one of the same type, the regular crafted one, it varies a little bit, but for example, this gives four command and 12 stamina. The flawless one obviously gives more sats. So for people that are going for a, a lot of sats and or need a lot of flawless items, the craftable set is a really good way to boost up your, your sats. Uh, some of the bonuses can be pretty good as well. So uh, in order to get the craftable set, uh, you'll have to progress through the void. As you go through the void, um, different recipes will pop up. Each stage has a different recipe. Uh, so this one right here is for the necromancer. Uh, so which stage is this? This is stage 61 in the void. So the divine version of this will become unlocked. Uh, once you hit void 61 and you pass that stage, a countdown begins. And it, it lasts for 30 trials through the void. So every time you pass that stage 30 times, or it, it might be enter the void 30 times, uh, you're guaranteed to get the recipe. So eventually you will get all of the recipes. It's also important to, to note that uh, for the craftable sets, uh, there can be uh, many other prerequisite items. So for example, to make this divine one for the necromancers, you have to also already have the legendary one. And under the legendary, there might be an epic, and under the epic, there might be one, one of the blue ones, which is just kind of regular. So they kind of build up. L luckily, the uh, alchemy core is made this a lot easier to craft. Um, in order to craft these, you need uh, alchemy stones, which is located, it looks right there for the price to, uh, to make. Uh, the alchemy stones you can acquire through farming honor. You take honor and you go into your black market. I, I can show you a quick little example of that. You go into the black market and you can uh, purchase uh, random items with your honor. Uh, so we'll we'll buy some and what happens is now you have more items you come into your alchemy area and you transmute them and when you transmute them uh, you see in the top left you get a certain amount of alchemy stones now that you have some alchemy stones you can then go and uh select a hero and craft uh what, whatever beautiful thing that you would like to craft each one will have a unique uh crafting uh cost so for the craftable set, you can get that through uh, unlocking it through the void for two out of the three pieces. For the third piece, uh, for all of the sets, you'll actually have to go to the Royal Archive and you'll have to purchase the recipe for it. Uh, so all you do is you enter the Royal Archive and you purchase wh whatever you need. Uh, so for example, if I want to unlock the Hawkeye Scope, which is not part of a set, it's just an example, it will cost 20,000 honor. Uh, so a lot of the stuff, so this is for the gladiators, the weapon, to get this recipe, uh, it would cost 20,000 um, honor. And to unlock uh, the legendary version, which is the sword, that would cost some honor, etc. Now, the craftable set, some of them offer really good bonuses, but the major point of them is to boost up your stats because they're the easiest ones to make flawless because you can just make them over and over um, as long as you have enough alchemy stones. The second set that we're going to cover is the dragon set. So the dragon set is uh, obtainable by attacking dragons. And every time you have a dragon uh, and you attack it, you have a chance of uh, acquiring uh, one, one of the chests. So this is uh, a topaz dragon. The topaz dragon ha has a chance to dra drop the rogue dragon chest. It has a chance to drop the sage dragon chest. Each type of dragon has two different types of chests that it can drop for you guys. Um, 
I, I think it's pre pretty huge, and you'll accrue these through time naturally just attacking dragons. Uh, what I highly recommend is there are two types of uh, dragon sets that you will absolutely want, um, regardless of where you are in the game. The first one is going to be the Sage Dragon set, and the second one is going to be the Necromancer. So no matter what, you'll want one uh, Sage Dragon set out on your battlefield at all times because of the effects that it has. And the Necromancer one is super overpowered on Ophidius. So it, we can quickly go look and see uh, what, what they look like. Uh, the, the one for Ophidius, um, it offers 40% more damage, it's super strong. Now, the only way to make these flawless is uh, the Lucky Wheel sometimes ha has them as flawless, but you'll have to spend Renown in order to make these flawless. Uh, the other one, the Sage one, uh, which I, I also think everybody should always use, uh, the Sage one uh, makes it so that uh, the hero ability cooldowns are reduced by two seconds at the start of battle. So uh, for depending on your research your like mages and sages can instant cast and your other stuff can cast really fast for that opening skill this is a huge uh set to get now if you're struggling to get that third piece uh say we're going for the sage set and we keep getting armors and headgears but no books uh what we can do is we can go to our alchemy store and right down on this bottom portion uh, my body is definitely in the way it says morph and we can select that and we can go in and we can select uh two different sets so uh, if we look at, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it with the, the Sage one. If we go with two of the books, two of the same items, it will then transmute it or morph it, and you're guaranteed to get one of the other two items. So either a book or the armor. If we morph a armor and a book, then what will happen is we're guaranteed to morph into the one other piece that's not shown. So in this case, it would be the headgear. Uh, this is super helpful so that you can complete your gear and the only way to actually uh, level up the dragon gear is going to be through the recast system or through the lucky wheel if, if they put it out in there and you get lucky uh, on the lucky wheel. Uh, so the dragon set is really good especially I highly recommend the necromancer one for Ophidius and also the uh, sage one for any of your sages to reduce your ability cooldowns. The mo uh, the the rogue one, which is good on like Mako and Bazrix for the crit damage, can also be very beneficial until you get the Drake set. So speaking of the Drake set, uh, the Drake set is the third set of items that we will cover. Uh, they come as uh, the rewards for completing Drake. Depending on how many cities your, your uh, house gets in Drake will determine how many chests that you get. So, uh, for example, say that we're the, the lord of um, the house and we get 14 big or giant cities at the end of Drake, then you're going to get uh, four, six, six total chests for, for these sets. If we look at them right now at the time of uh, creating this, there's only two out there, which is the gladiator and the rogue set. Um, now when you get these chests, you can actually select which pieces you want, which I think is huge. Uh, so you can go through, you can make a full three piece set, which I highly recommend if you are going to use these sets because they offer plus one to all skills, which is a massive, massive buff. Uh, hopefully by the time that you're watching this video, there's many more sets out there. Uh, now there is another thing that you can do to acquire these sets, and that is uh, they usually offer something in the lucky wheel to get this sets. It might not be the set that you want. Uh, lately they've only been doing the molten set, which is for the gladiators, and there's no other way to get the rogue ones right now. So uh, for the Drake sets, you have to go to Drake, you have to get the chest, and then you can get the Drake sets. And the last type of sets that we're going to cover is the Clash of Fate sets. So to get Clash of Fate sets, you need to be in a house that participates in Clash of Fate or you yourself participate in Clash of Fate. What will happen is you will get chests called Chests of Fate. You open these up and you get a currency called Badges of Bravery. With the Badges of Bravery, you'll be able to see them. Um, and it looks like uh, right now we have 5,500. It requires 4,500 uh, badges of bravery to buy one full set. Once you get 4,500 to buy a full set, you can go and purchase it, or you can buy it one piece at a time, and it would be 1,500 badges of bravery for each individual piece. To access that, you just go to uh, your, your black market, 
and you select on the tab right here and it brings you to the Clash of Fate sets. So you can go through and purchase them uh, one at a time. Be very careful when you go through this. You do not want to misclick and purchase the wrong pieces because it takes a while to accrue the badges of bravery. As far as uh, the major sets for this, uh, the mage set is really, really good for this and also the general set. I, I would highly recommend uh, getting one of each of those before exploring more of the options. Um, and also the, the mechanic one for uh, Nora is also up there as well as a very good set. So that is how to obtain different types of sets in Art of Conquest. Hopefully this helps you out through your journey in Art of Conquest and helps you to fill out your heroes when it comes to the hero spotlights. Uh, so with that guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Make sure to thumbs up the video. I appreciate that. Subscribe so you can follow along with the channel and also all of the Hero Spotlight videos. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So with that, I hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, enjoy after you check out the description below. Patreons, you're the best. Have a great day. Bye.